Good morning, Penridge. I'm Kara with your weather and lunch for the day. Today is Monday, February 10th, 2020, a day one on your academic calendar. The weather is a high of 52 and a low of 38 and a possibility for some rain. For lunch today, there will be mozzarella sticks, a black bean burger with a side of steamed broccoli, carrots, and fruit, and of course, your choice of lactose. Attention class of 2020, the senior video is in full swing. Look on Canvas to <laughs> for the senior video form so that you can be included. If you do not fill out the form, you will not be featured. So make sure you go on, go on over and fill it out. That's it for me. Now up to the main desk with Camille and Evan. Oh, thanks, Kara. <laughs> I'm Evan Luckowitz here with. Camille. And we're here with your main office news. For my Good morning, Penridge. For Minorities Inclusive Club, in honor of Black History Month, today we'll be highlighting the history of braids. Braiding originated in Africa and can be traced back around 5,000 years ago. In many different African tribes, braids were used to symbolize the tribe, age, marital status, wealth, religion, and power. Because of the amount of time it took to braid someone's hair, braiding was used to socialize and bond with people. Braiding quickly became a tradition bond with people and was carried on for many generations to do. Getting braids done in the salon environment was meant to build unity and embrace historical culture. Thanks for those kind words. From the College and Career Center the week of February 19th, we will have representatives from the Pennsylvania Air National Guard, Army, and Jean and Madeline Avita Institute visiting. If you would like to learn more about any of these organizations, please register for the visit on Naviance. A pass will be sent to you that morning. Please see Mrs. Lewis in the College and Career Center room 354 with any questions. And sophomores and juniors interested in nursing, Reading Hospital School of Health Sciences will be offering their Discovered Nursing Summer Program the week of June 23rd to 26th. Interested students can pick up an application in the College and Career Center. The application deadline is March 27th, 2020. That's all for us at the main desk. Enough to sports with Nick Politi. Thanks, Evan. I'm Nick Politi here with your sports for the day. Congratulations to the Penridge girls bowling team and Coach Detweiler on winning the Suburban One American Conference. Congratulations. Also, Tuesday, February 11th, the Penridge Unified Bocce team will host its only home match against Upper Perk. The match will be held at 3 p.m. in the Green Gym. Inclusion is not simply about physical proximity. It is about intentional planning for success of all students. Please join the Unified Club on Monday, February 10th in room 226 from 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. We will be planning for Inclusion Week. Congratulations to the following scholars for the winner. Girls basketball, Jill Coughlin. Boys Basketball, Connor Pliable. Girls Bowling, Kelsey Mannon. Boys Bowling, Carter Barley. Cheerleading, Gabrielle Sharp. Boys Indoor Track, Robert Bashir. Girls Indoor Track, Megan Criney. Boys Swimming, Declan Mullen. Girls Swimming, Hannah Hartzell. Unified Bocce, Ashton McClellan. Wrestling, Logan Green. They will be taking a group picture on February 11th, right after school at 2.20 p.m. at the athletic office. That's it for me, now off to the desk with your teacher and club announcements. Thank you, Nick. I'm Josh Lawrence. And I'm Tim Grendel. Here with your teacher and club announcements. Dear Penridge students, do you like showing appreciation and affection to your friends and loved ones? Do those same people like chocolate? Then come and get a chocolate rose to give to someone special. You can order a rose or a few for $2 each in Mrs. Nace's room, room 376, or stop by the table set up in all lunches, and they are on sale only until today. So get them while you can. They will be delivered on Wednesday, February 12th during first period to your special someone with a message of your choosing. All you have to know is the recipient's first period day three class, and we will take it from there. All proceeds go to the class of 23 executive council. Also, if you like great Italian food and want to help support the school, then come out to Luberto's Brick Oven Pizza in Dublin to support the class of 2023 and have a great time. Luberto specializes in authentic Italian cuisine and delicious brick oven pizza, so you're bound for a spectacular meal and 15% of the profits go to the class of 2023 Exec Council. The fundraiser is today and lasts from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., so come out and enjoy a great evening. And if you have, have you entered the library contest yet? It is fun and free. Just guess the number of marshmallows in the snowman. One paper vote in the box or another chance to vote by tweeting your answers to at Penridge HS Lib using the hashtag library contest. What are you waiting for? Just enter. That's it for us here at the Daily Ramble. Have a great day, Penridge.